from exporting all your contacts with a single tap to protecting your privacy with a hidden reset button. Here are 15 usable iPhone tips you should know. Feel your personal safety is at risk or need to make a clean privacy reset in moments of uncertainty? Apple has your back with the emergency reset feature. This option found under settings. Privacy and security. Safety check, then emergency reset, lets you instantly stop sharing information across all apps, contacts, and devices connected to your Apple account. Read carefully the instruction once you click the reset. It not only cuts off access, but also helps you update your Apple ID password and review all linked devices to ensure your data stays secure. With just a few taps, you regain full control over your privacy, whether it's for your safety or simply to reset who can access your information. Struggling with quick access? Get things done without unlocking your iPhone. Here's the magic. Swipe down from the top right corner of your screen to open the control center your quick access hub for essential tools. No need to unlock your device. Here's what you can do directly from the lock screen using Control Center. Open a new note before that brilliant thought escapes. Set a timer without searching for the clock app. Start recording voice memos instantly. Activate Shazam to catch the song playing around you. Plus, with just a tap, toggle dark mode on and off. Enable low power mode when your battery runs low. Want quick access at your fingertips? First, make sure Control Center is available from the lock screen. Head to Settings, Face ID and Passcode. Scroll down and toggle on Control Center under Allow Access When Locked. Customize your Control Center shortcuts. Swipe down from the top right corner to open Control Center. Tap the plus icon. Add Control. Search and add the tools you need, whether it's notes, timer, or voice memos. This small tweak will save you tons of time, and you'll never miss a beat, whether it's capturing a thought or recording a voice memo in an instant. You can export your contacts effortlessly, no apps required. You can export all of your contacts directly from the Contacts app on one click, open the app, then tap Lists in the top left corner. From there, you can touch and hold an existing list. After that, choose Export. Select which fields to include, like emails or phone numbers, and tap Done. Finally, select a method to send or save the exported contacts, such as through messages, mail, or saving them to files for future use. Upgrading to a new iPhone or sending yours in for repair. If you're worried about iCloud storage limits, Apple has your back with temporary iCloud storage, a stress-free way to back up and transfer your data without paying for more space. Here's the magic. Create a backup on your old device by going to Settings. General, transfer or reset device, and tapping Get Started. Once everything is backed up, Settings app will let you know, so you can begin restoring on your new or repaired iPhone. And don't worry about time. You'll get 21 days to restore your backup, with the option to extend for another 20. After restoring, Apple even gives you seven extra days before deleting the backup, just in case. Now we've covered a few in-depth tips, but now let's switch gears. What's coming next is fast, practical, and straight to the point. Each tip will take only 10 seconds, so stay with me because these quick hits might be exactly what you've been missing. How to reveal Wi-Fi passwords. Go to Settings. Wi-Fi. Tap the I next to your network and click the dots and use Face ID to reveal the password. How to select multiple photos. Tap Select in the Photos app and swipe across images and don't leave, move your finger like a cursor. Need to grab a large batch? Tap the top edge of the screen with another hand while swiping to jump to the top. How to use back navigation in Safari? Hold the back button to see a list of recent pages instead of tapping repeatedly. How to select multiple emails or notes or more with swipe? Swipe down or up with two fingers to select multiple items quickly. Works with messages, emails, contacts, and more. How to get to the top of a list. Scrolling endlessly through emails, messages, photos, or even third-party apps. Here's a pro tip. Just tap the top edge of the screen and boom, you're instantly at the top. It's fast, efficient, and super satisfying. Want to level it up? Combine it with two-finger selection while scrolling. Now you're not only fast, but selecting multiple items with ease. 
The same as the Photos Selection, a productivity game changer. How to undo text deletions or any action you made. Accidentally delete something. Swipe right with three fingers to undo. Still, you can choose undo from the pop-up or shake the iPhone to undo. It's the same. How to boost iPhone volume. Go to Settings, Music Equalizer, and select Late Night for a noticeable audio boost. Perfect for noisy environments. Z. Getting value from this video? Give us a like. And remember, Apple Gurus is always here to help. Apple Gurus, your personal Apple advisor. Instantly capture, name, and share screenshot. Ever taken tons of screenshots only to lose track of them? With so many piling up, labeling each one with a custom name can save you from endless scrolling. Let's explore how to organize, edit, and share your screenshots effortlessly and within seconds. Capture the screenshot. Whether you prefer the button combo or using action button, once the screenshot is taken, tap on the preview in the bottom left corner to begin organizing it. Rename it before saving. From the preview, tap Share to open the share sheet. You'll see the screenshot thumbnail along with its default name. Tap Options under the thumbnail and select Rename. Give it a meaningful name like Meeting Notes or Flight Confirmation, making it easier to find later when you need it. Crop and Add to Quick Note. From the Preview Crop, the screenshot and adjust borders as needed. Once edited, tap Share. Add to Quick Note for easy reference whenever you need it again, or share instantly. No need to dive into the Photos app to send it. Directly from the preview, select your messaging or email app and share it on the spot. Declutter by deleting. After sharing or saving the screenshot to Quick Note, you can quickly delete it from the preview. This way, you avoid a growing gallery of screenshots you no longer need. Navigating apps, websites, or PDFs with wide tables or long lists that go beyond the screen. If you haven't noticed the vertical scroll bar, you can use it to skim through old emails in the mail app or scroll through your contacts. You probably already use it in Safari, but it's just as helpful in settings, photos, and even on the home screen's app library. Pro tip. In contacts or app library, skip scrolling by using the letters and on the side to jump straight to what you need. Now, let's jump to something that feels a bit different from the traditional scroll bar, horizontal gestures. These swipe gestures make navigation a breeze. For example, in Safari, you can swipe left or right on the search bar to move between open tabs. Navigating between apps? Just swipe on the bold line at the bottom of your screen to jump from one app to another. And on your home screen, swipe across the dots at the bottom to glide between pages quickly. No more endless swiping to find the app you need. Fun fact, this also works on the emoji keyboard, so finding that perfect smiley or GIF is now just a quick swipe away. If you dive deep into the settings, you'll discover a neat feature. You can now access your recent paths straight from the settings search bar. Just pull up the search, and it'll show you your recent activities. For instance, if you were recently checked the battery or the contact settings, tapping that option will take you right back to that section in the settings with just one click. It's a simple way to navigate and save time. Looking to level up your Apple Notes game? Check out these two tutorials and take your note-taking to the next level.